Hey guys, Vaughn here with the Vaughnster vlog and I just wanted to make a video to thank everybody who over on my main channel, which a lot of y'all follow over here on the vlog too, for y'all's support and encouragement today in taking Callie to the vet. She is still not feeling that great, but they did blood work on her. Uh, she did have a fever of like 104 point something like on the high end. Um, but her blood work was showing, like, it's not an autoimmune thing because she does have some platelets going on. Um, they didn't, the biggest scare was they thought it might have been, um, bobcat fever in the very early stages. Um, because she is an indoor-outdoor cat and because we do live in an area where, you know, granted we do live pretty in town, but, you know, we still have, like, possums and skunks and raccoons and stuff. There may be a rogue, you know, bobcat spreading around, but it's... I'd never even heard of bobcat fever. Give it a Google if you feel like being terrified for your felines in your life. But, um, uh, fortunately we do keep her treated with flea and tick medication, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, they couldn't pinpoint exactly what's up, but she did have a fever. She is feeling pretty gross. Uh, but it seems like she's going to be okay. And that's a huge relief because... I was out in the parking lot bawling my eyes out. Like, I couldn't, like, I was crying in the, uh, like, I started crying in the waiting room because I was so scared. And it's just, I mean, and I felt like such a dork, like, but I was scared for my cat. And I, I, I hoped, I hoped so much that I was just, like, overreacting or being hyper, um, like, sensitive. Like, oh my god, my kitty's sick. But it's, thank you guys for, because... In the not too far ago past for Randy and I, we've had to just kind of sit there at home with our sick pets and hope that they just get better. Um, and it was really nice to not have to uh, wait it out, not knowing what was going to happen, um, but not having to decide between do we pay this month's bill for whatever thing or do we take the cat to the vet and there's no telling how much it might cost. Like, y'all, like you were there for us and uh we didn't have to worry about that and it, it never even occurred to me um you know it's not that I don't already know that you guys are generous but it's like damn y'all are seriously generous um and it just thank you thank you so much I didn't I'm not putting this up over on my main channel because uh it's not like wire wrapping or a tutorial or anything but um I did want to think just each of you specifically because uh you just everybody not just the folks who donated not just the people who have been checking in with me through emails and on patreon and everything but just everybody who who watches and supports both my and randy's work um because y'all have changed our lives in ways that we haven't even discovered other ways that y'all have changed our life yet and uh I really hope that y'all are this generous to everybody in your life because y'all are making this this world a better place just through your kindness. <clears throat> and uh, thank you for being awesome and for helping me take my cat to the vet. I mean, it seems like such a little trivial thing, but she's my baby and I love her, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, but I'm gonna go cry and not bother my cat because she needs her sleep. But, um, I love you guys. Give yourselves a big hug from me and I will see y'all in my next video. But until then, keep being awesome. Bye. <laughs>